morning everyone. Welcome to Creative Cooking and Ani's Kitchen. My name is Ani and I'm here today with yet another recipe. This one is going to be one of our croissant-like um, bread It's uh, or rolls. Uh, it's as close to a croissant you're going to get that without all the folds and the layers and the all consuming time consuming process uh, this is a quick version for croissants let's put it that way here are the ingredients this is what you're going to need we need five cups of flour okay one stick of butter melted two tablespoons of sugar one tablespoon of yeast one teaspoon of salt, one third cup of oil. I'm using grapeseed oil. You can use any kind of cooking oil. Just don't use EVOO. Don't use extra virgin olive oil or, or olive oil. Um, you want a cup of any kind of shredded cheese. Usually white cheddar is what it calls for. I've got the, a blend, you know, uh, queso blanco and cheddar and Monterey Jack uh, finely shredded one egg yolk with a tablespoon of milk or I used heavy whipping cream and here we have one cup of water warm water with one cup of warm milk what I did was I took eight ounces of evaporated milk and one cup of faucet water put it in the same cup threw in the microwave for one minute that gave me the the warmth that i needed all right so we're going to get ready to start making this croissant you're going to need a nice sheet pan line it up with some parchment okay And let's see. I'm going to need this to brush the croissant with an outer coating so they can get nice and golden brown. And then I am going to need my spatula. All right, so let's begin. I'm going to use my stand mixer. Um, you can do this by hand. And uh, without a problem, but uh, you know, it, it calls for kneading. You have to get the bread to the nice, soft, uh, and, and uh, elastic consistency. I, I am going to use the paddle. So, before we get, let me set my oven a bake at 350. Before we uh, start with the flour and all that let's get our yeast and all the liquids with the sugar and the yeast and oil together shall we all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drop in our warm water and milk okay we're going to add the sugar two tablespoons of sugar we're going to add the one third cup of oil. Okay. We're going to add the yeasty beasties. We can put the salt in with the flour, the teaspoon of salt with the flour, and we'll give that a little mix. to give this a nice mix in here. All right, lock in and just run on the one. 
mix the yeasty beasties. to do is we're going to cover this We're going to let it rest for 10 minutes. Well, so the yeasty beasties can have a chance to come alive. This is how we prove it, how we test to see if the yeast is still good. Usually, if you keep it in the freezer, I keep mine in the refrigerator, but I've uh, sealed the canister with some black uh, plastic wrap um, so it's nice and dark in there. And um, so I keep mine in the refrigerator and they last a long time. Uh, but you best best case scenario is the freezer really in a nice uh, sealed container. But uh, we prove the yeast by doing that. And the sugar is to feed the yeast. Um, so is the milk and everything else. It does help to feed it. And then the flour, when we add it, it'll feed on that too. And that, that's as they eat the flour, they release gas, and it's called carbon dioxide. And those that's what those bubbles are in your dough. That's the yeasty beasties eating and <laughs> releasing gas. Anyway, I'll be back in, let's see, eight minutes. Okay, time's up. 10 minutes have passed and as you can see the froth build up on that yeasty beasties are alive and well and eating away so now we can add the flour and take this off while we do that so it doesn't get in the way okay we got five cups a flower. Okay, got all that in there. Right. Oh, to the side. Lock and what we're going to do is kind of help this mix a little bit so it doesn't puff in the air. Weigh it down some. Okay. Okay. Start on one. Woo! It goes real fast at first and then it slows down. So. Okay. 
I'm going to do this. to need this for the 15 minutes. So I will bring you back. Go ahead and add the cheese. Okay. It's one cup of cheese. Continue on. I need to do one thing though. I don't want all the cheese at the bottom, so I need to get this dough off of this paddle so the cheese can mix in there real well. in there. There we go. Put that to about a four. And I'll bring you back. Okay. Five minutes has passed. So what I'm going to do is change out from the paddle to the dough hook. The paddle is good at mixing a lot better than the dough hook, but the dough hook is good at kneading the dough. So five minutes of mixing and blending, you know, and 10 minutes of kneading is basically what it is. This dough's gonna be so nice. Okay, and back to four. I'll bring you back. All right, time's up. 15 minutes are done. So, let's go ahead and stop this. Gotta do. Okay. Very pliable. Okay. there clean see that's what we want cleans the entire bowl all right let's get 
get this out the way. Gotta give it a good wipe down before I put it up. Right now we need it out the way. and oiled it some. Okay, hands are clean. Okay. This dough is very pliable. Very soft. Divide this in half. I don't know what that is. Okay. Okay. Okay, we want to roll this out into a square. You're going to take the butter, drizzle it. Brush it on there very gently. Okay. Take it. 
fold it in half. This way. Okay, brush a little bit more butter. Hold it in half. Then half again. And that's what you're left with. There's one. Okay. Then we're going to do the next dough. We help her get started with our hands. Okay. And you got to feel for the dough while you're doing this. You get to feel the thicker parts so you know where to guide your rolling pin. Let me just move this one out of the way. Okay. Oops. Wrong one. <laughs> Started grabbing the egg wash. All right.
Okay. Fold it over. Fold it over. All right. There's the second one. Now we're going back to this one. Same for the other one. You get the drift, but you're back. Okay, I've done them both, both again. So, now we're going to rest them in the pan. And let them proof. for 30 minutes. I'll cover this up. And let them poof. Alright. Be back in 30. Alright. Timer has gone off. Let's take a look. Oh, look at that rise. Very nice. 
All right, well, back on here we go. Let's get our rolling pin. Now, to top this, I'm going to put some uh, parsley. And open this again. Kind of a quiet video this one because it's a lot of uh, rolling on the dough. I think I get this these croissants out the way because it'll go with dinner tonight. That's another video recipe I'm going to do. So you all stay tuned to this channel. I got so many recipes to bring to you all. But my energy will only allow me to go so far. Alright, so we've got that. I figured I'd want to do maybe I'm going to do some Monterey Jack on the end. Side. Just 
just to make it fun and interesting. Because the dish tonight is going to have plenty of cheese. So I really don't have to go overboard with it. Just a little. So, I'm going to take this, spin it all around, okay, And we're going to roll up Pitch the seam. Usually four fingers in length. That's how you want to cut these. Gave me six pieces, so I'm putting this on my tray. Okay, look at those layers. See those layers? I 
next one. Okay. So you do the same to this one. I'll be right back. Okay, there they are lined up. Get my parsley ready. Now, here comes the egg wash. Okay. Okay, I mashed them down a little bit. So you just brush all of them with this egg wash, which is an egg yolk and one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. If you don't have that, you can use regular milk. Okay. Just one tablespoon. Now the oven has been preheated since I started this recipe, so it's nice and hot. I'm going to put some water in my pan. That I have at the bot sitting at the bottom of the inside of the oven. Whenever you break breads or pies, pastries, or anything like that, you want that water, that pan. Because the yeast love steam. You get a nice even baking. Okay, that's my water. And in they go, but not before I sprinkle parsley. You could put sesame seeds on top of this, poppy seeds, flax seeds, basil and oregano. I just want parsley for decorations. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of Parmesan. Parmesan. my take on it. You guys do what you like to yours and put mine in. 
the center rack uncovered 30 minutes at 350. All right, I'll bring you back. We'll take a look at these babies when they come out. All right, time's up. We're going to take these puppies out. Turn that oven off. I smell them, so I'm pretty sure they're ready. Put you guys up here. All right. Let's take a look. Oh, they look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah. Woo! Look at those precious babies. Huh? Tell me that don't look good. Cheese stuff. Croissant. Quick version. It wasn't too bad at all, is it? Yep, there it is, guys. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Huh. Loving it, loving it, loving it. All right, so there you have it, folks. This is what's going to accompany my dish for tonight. So stay tuned because I will and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Like this video. And if you hit that notification bell, it'll notify you when I upload the next recipe, which will, will be tonight's dinner. They're going to be little uh, mini meatball boats, stuffed meat, mini meatball boats. Don't miss out, okay? Anyway, until the next one, y'all, God bless. Take care of yourselves and one another. Bye. I just wanted you all to see the inside of that. Oh, yeah. Nice and fluffy and airy. Pull apart bread. Tender and crispy on the outside, and just flaky melt in your mouth on the inside. Oh, so good. Anyway, hope you make yourself some. Bye.